the person and imagery of Padmasambhava is one of the most common uh, common figures to be found in, in Himalayan art, both uh, painting and sculpture. Padmasambhava is considered to be a, a real person, a, a human from the 8th century who visited Tibet and is one of the three principal teachers or principal figures to introduce Buddhism to Tibet, along with uh, the Indian abbot Shantarakshita and the Tibetan king Trisung Detsen. Now, Padmasambhava, we really don't find in art until probably the, it's really the, at the earliest, it's the 12th, 13th century, uh, where we find him predominantly as a secondary figure. After that time, we find him as a, as a principal figure in compositions, painting compositions. He has a very distinctive appearance. Uh, he wears a lotus hat, he has uh, layered robes, he has uh, uh, a face which is slightly uh, mature with a mustache and a slight goatee in many cases. He generally holds a vajra in his, in his upraised right hand and a skull cup in his left and a katvanga tantric staff leaning against his left shoulder. He is also depicted wearing, wearing boots, felt boots, which is typical for depicting indigenous Tibetan uh, uh, teachers and deities. Now, this is the very standard form. He's seated generally in, in, a, in a Vajra posture, not to be confused with lotus. In Buddhism, the, where you put the, the uh, right foot over the left thigh, this is called Vajra posture. In, in Hinduism, in Indian yoga, then it can often be called the lotus posture. But in Buddhism, it's called the Vajra posture. Um, now, Padmasambhava can also hold his, his hand with the Vajra Scepter uh, upraised at the right side. He can also have it held across the right knee or held up facing outward just above the right knee. So there are different, different postures. Now, there is also a lot of artwork that depicts the life story of Padmasambhava. And from this, we can get... We can get eight more forms, sometimes 12, sometimes more, that uh, help depict uh, the very important events in his life. So it's a chronological depiction of Padmasambhava in different forms. And these forms can be as a Mahasiddha, a king, a prince, a wrathful deity. So once we start moving into the life story of Padmasambhava, we can get many, many different forms. Also, when we move into the depicting the meditational deity forms of Padmasambhava, then we are into the dozens, if not scores, and hundreds of different forms of Padmasambhava. So it is a very uh, large subject within iconography in Tibetan Buddhist art.